I was breaking but not in time and then I knocked into the back. The outcome is that. So it was February 2021. I was at night after the rain. The road conditions were wet. I was on the far most uh, left lane, so-called slower lane. I was driving down this road. While approaching the traffic light at this junction, um, there was a white BMW in front of me. At amber light, it braked. I knocked onto them. It was my judgment error given that I was at the back. So this was the blue SG that I drove. You can see the conditions. The front right oh, okay. bumper was um, hit. The windshield cracked. Two airbags were deployed and the front, the speedometer segment popped out and turned okay. the other way. Okay. Wow, okay. That looks quite serious. I mean, I, ha I have to ask you, how, how fast were you going? It wasn't fast enough such that I suffered any fatal injury and okay. thankfully the family of five with three kids at the back unscathed okay. as well. I'm, I'm very thankful for that. Yeah. Was his car barely damaged? It's just the back bumper and okay. he could drive off. He just said that the exhaust sounded a bit wonky okay. but he could get it checked. I asked him how does he want to settle it. He said just let the insurance company settle. Yeah, I called the customer service for yep. Blue SG. Um, given the fact that uh, I did not damage any public property okay. and no one was injured or hurt, uh, there was no need to call the police. This okay. was as confirmed by the customer service officer. Okay. And, uh, and after you went back home, I mean, did you have to file a report with Blue SG? Did you have to follow up with them on anything? As per the law, within 24 hours, I need to go down to Blue SG's um, office at Ubi to make a report. I went down the next day. The person in charge said, based on the assessment, I will get the first party and third party liability charge. Those charges amounted to a whopping 11,250 Singapore dollars. I did ask for a breakdown. In the end, I received a lawyer letter chasing for payment. Okay. I said, fine, I pay. After which, um, still no breakdown. Every car sharing user is automatically covered by insurance once they book a car. When it's our own car, we usually top up the insurance so we don't have to pay any excess, which is an out-of-pocket fee before insurance kicks in. It's not the case for car sharing insurance. So in the event of an accident, car sharing drivers are still liable for this excess fee. Malcolm had to pay the excess twice, once for damage to his shared car and once more for damage to the car he knocked into. What's the worst you've seen in terms of the most like disgusting thing you've seen left behind the car? I have some photos that I can oh, share really? with you. Okay. So this is an example of somebody leaving behind pet fur. Okay. Yeah, this is mud and this is food stuff. Attracts cockroaches. Okay. 